Hey guys, Jeremy with Four Sons Off-Road. So we've got another uh, mini truck. Now this might not look like a mini truck, it just looks like a little SUV. But I assure you this is a uh, indeed a mini truck. This is a 1998 Suzuki Jimny Wide, straight out of Japan. Uh, this little unit here has a 1.3 liter four-cylinder engine, which uh, Kind of classes it, uh, I guess, a little higher than than a, a standard Jimny with a 660 or a little mini truck with a 660 uh, cc engine in it. But it's actually the same body size, just a little wider stance and a little bit uh, wider uh, fender flares on it. But other than that, this is actually still the standard uh, mini truck class in terms of size. Now this little truck uh, is still only about 60, I think about 61 uh inches wide 2100 pounds we rolled it across the scales here uh it came in at 2100 pounds but uh definitely a beautiful little truck now the 1998 was uh pretty much uh the first year for the new uh this new body style and this same style believe it or not runs all the way up to 2017 they're just going to be redesigning this uh, this truck for 2018, uh, basically for the first time since this uh, since this revision. But uh, yeah, beautiful little truck. Let's have a look inside. All right, so inside, these are actually pretty uh, luxurious little trucks. Uh, definitely, like say, if we're classing them against a, a standard uh, you know mini truck, um, or you know maybe it seems odd, but we actually market these against uh, side by sides. So compared to your average side-by-side uh, -side with a cab, this is basically a Cadillac. Now this truck has got, I think just a hair over 45,700 kilometers on it. We've got air conditioning. Uh, you've got your full uh, rear defrost, rear wipers and washers. This one does have a little uh, Japanese stereo unit in it as well. We've got fog lights on this unit, power uh, adjustable mirrors, power windows, and uh, this one actually does have the power door locks with uh, with a uh, remote uh, remote uh, entry as well, which is really nice. You'll notice uh, airbags uh, as well. And transmission-wise, this is a five-speed manual transmission unit. Now these little Jimny's do have four-wheel drive of course and uh, not only that but we do have a true high-end low range on the four-wheel drive as well. It makes it a truly uh, useful off-road machine. So one of the best parts uh, about having say a Suzuki Jimny is four-seater. Um, you've got room for a couple of passengers in the back there. Uh, you know I don't think you're going to want to be six feet tall and sit back there but uh, you know uh, an average uh, smaller adult or definitely children would have no problem uh, jumping back there. Actually lots of uh, room to, to climb in which is really nice, pretty simple. Now one other cool thing is those seats do fold down. We'll show you the cargo access here first. So you've got just a swing away tailgate here. Now this is just kind of just your standard, you know, standard cargo room. There's uh, this little floor kind of flips up to give you access to your jack and stuff underneath there, a little extra storage. Storage cubbies on on each side, which is really cool as well. And uh, one of the neat things you'll notice is there's actually tie down hooks all throughout the cabin here, uh, sides on the floor. There's actually some underneath the uh, these back seats. I'll fold these uh, back seats down. You can see what sort of storage we get as well. All right, there. So the uh, back seat cushions just flip over uh, top, and uh, then the uh, seat backs just kind of fold down. There's kind of a little the little uh, tray that's on the back of those seats. Uh, you can leave it up if you want uh, you know kind of a tiered storage there uh, but if you want if you need a full you know flat flat load floor you just flip that over and uh, and you've got about uh, it's about four by four feet of uh, storage space so I mean definitely enough to throw uh, your tent and camping gear and ice fishing gear and all that kind of stuff in there and uh, get you get you off the grid where you need to go the other main differences between this Jimny uh, versus say a standard Suzuki mini truck is uh, obviously the the chassis is you know very much more uh, uh, you know SUV kind of Jeep style we've got a four-cylinder engine in here uh, fuel injected on this unit of course and uh, I don't know if we'll be able to see too well but 
the Suzuki Jimny actually runs solid axles uh, on coil springs at uh, all four corners. Um, so actually very similar to what you're going to have in a, uh, you know, just a Jeep Wrangler. Pretty much, uh, pretty much the same setup. Now the cool thing is these trucks are uh, actually full, full framed units, full body on frame, which uh, is almost impossible to find, you know, in the marketplace, you know, nowadays. Makes it uh, obviously probably a little easier to lift and, uh, you know, definitely a stronger little unit for, for true off-roading. You're not going to have to worry about, uh, you know, twisting this little guy up. So one of the other main benefits, like definitely, you know, you might ask, why would I, which one would I want? Something like this, like a little Suzuki Jimny, or would I want, say, uh, just a mini truck if I'm doing off-roading? Well, I, I would say it comes down to if you need the capacity of the cargo box on the mini truck, go that way. Otherwise, the Jimnys are, are a lot more comfortable. Now, leg room wise like, I'm pretty average size, but, like, this Jimny, the seats slide back to the point where, like, I can barely reach the pedals. Uh, so if you're a taller guy, this is definitely, you know, going to be, uh, you know, the way you want to go for sure. Some of those mini trucks get pretty small if you're a little taller guy. Now this trail here we're going to go down, this is actually uh, only 60 inches wide as far as the cut path. Um, and this little Jimny is going to fit down here, you know, without even, basically without scraping on any of the sides. Now the cool thing of course is we do have four wheel drive, which we don't really need for the train, but we've got low range, which is nice if you're just doing a little bit of trail crawling. Sticker in uh, low range, first gear. And you can kind of walk through stuff nice and slow, not riding the clutch. Actually a really nice quiet little unit as well. Again, if you're comparing this, like I said, size-wise, uh, this is probably smaller than, say, a Honda Pioneer 700 or 1000, you know, four-passenger or five-passenger unit. So that's literally, you know, as far as uh, replacing a side-by-side, -side, you definitely could, and you'd have, you know, and to be fair, you actually would have the same cargo capacity in this unit with four passengers in it as say as Honda 700 or 1000 with the seats flipped up in the back. Uh, width wise we're no wider. Height wise I think we're probably a little lower because the roll cage on those are quite tall. And weight wise with a full heated glass cab definitely we'd be comparable weight wise as well to uh, any of the bigger side-by-side, -side, especially a you know, multi-passenger side-by-side. The big difference is we've got the air conditioning on in here. Of course, glass windows. Just a lot more comfortable to ride in. All right, so just gonna do a little off-roading here and just see, uh, see what we can uh, find here for some obstacles. Now again, the really cool thing with these Jimnys is they, uh, well I guess the Jimny wide specifically, uh, there's two out of Japan, there are two models of Jimny. Now they're both the identical chassis, just different engine uh, and uh, I believe like the axles are different, that sort of thing. This being the Jimny wide is the 1.3 liter four cylinder engine. Now this thing puts out about 80, uh, I think about 84 horsepower in this model. Now that might not sound like a lot of power, uh, but when you're running a 2100 pound vehicle, uh, you know, that's actually pretty comparable with some of the older, uh, you know, uh, TJs and, and uh, Wranglers and stuff like that. Because those units come in typically around 4,000 pounds. Uh, so this is definitely, definitely got weight, uh, you know, the weight advantage on its side. So that's actually pretty peppy, the Jimny wide. Now, a standard Jimny is going to be a, a turbo 660, which is about 64 horsepower. And again, coming in at about 1,900 pounds. So this is definitely going to have a lot more pep than a, a standard Jimny. But uh, we're just going to cruise around here. Now, this hill on the other side is uh, doesn't look, the, the video never shows the justice of this hill, but we've actually measured it, and it's a 22 degree slope. Um, so we're just going to roll up there. Just got it in 
just gonna drop it into low range, not because we need to, but let's do a nice controlled climb. I mean, real simple, no wheel spin, no fuss, no nothing. These things turn like any side-by-side -side as well, basically on a dime. So now as we come down here, I'm just gonna keep my feet off the, uh, the brakes. Low range is nice. Rolls us down there, no problem. So I know that uh, first hill climb never seems that impressive, so. We're gonna buckle in here and see this. I don't know if we'll be able to make it up this. This is a pretty, about the same angle. We've got some big terrain here. Nope. Well, let's see how far we got. So, like I said, the video never does justice of what we're trying to go up here with this, but uh, pretty steep little incline and just tried to climb up. It didn't give it a good run or anything like that, but yeah, we we did up, end up spinning out there. Still really good articulation out of that uh, suspension. Again, this is just a stock, straight stock suspension. So we're not lifting a wheel or anything yet, just uh, just don't have the, uh, the traction to get up, but we'll give her another try. So you might have noticed there was some a little bit of uh, wheel slippage on the front wheels on these. You can actually get uh, uh, ARB air lockers for these trucks. These are really popular trucks in Australia and else, elsewhere. Just trying to give you an idea of the uh, little bit of the articulation there. This is about a about a three foot deep uh, uh, rut actually. So we're pretty much almost on the frame uh, in the middle there. Front tires drop down. And again, this is just stock suspension. So I mean. I'm not expecting anybody to be uh, blown away with this, but just to show you, you can actually take a stock Jimny and uh, pretty much go where you'd want to go with it. But like I say, put a lift kit in this, a little bigger set of tires, uh, some ARB lockers, and uh, this little thing should go anywhere. So I just wanted to give everybody a sense of the scale of this truck because uh, it always looks a lot bigger on video and in the pictures than it really is. Uh, this thing is tiny. I'm only five foot nine, not a big tall guy, and uh, I mean I'm easily taller than uh, than this little unit here. Width-wise, again, I mean I can literally reach end to end, um, no problem. So yeah, well, I mean what makes these so great is they're literally the same size as a, any standard uh, side by side. Uh, but you've got a couple seats in the back and all the luxuries of a standard, uh, you know, loaded car with uh, all the power options, which is uh, pretty cool. So lastly, like power wise compared to, uh, well, a mini truck for sure, more power, but even a side by side, like you look at your Honda, even a Pioneer 1000, uh, your Polaris uh, Rangers, the bigger ones, they're, you know, running in around 80, 90 horsepower. Most of those uh, now, this runs 84 horsepower same weight so they're gonna be similar a uh, little dirt road here two-wheel drive I mean we're doing 70 80 kilometers an hour short shifting the thing in two-wheel drive so I mean they're gonna pull I would say with pretty much any of your standard side-by-sides so one last quick test for you guys we're gonna get her out on the uh, get her out on the road here just gonna do a quick 0 to 60 run and uh, show you guys what highway speed is like in this little thing car by any means pretty solid down the road though 
definitely would, uh, you know, it'll maintain 100 kilometers an hour, no problem. I think top speed on this thing's probably 140, 150, somewhere in that range. So, I mean, you're not going to want to push it, you know, too terribly quick. Again, even at 100, you know, these trucks weren't made for highways like we have here. So at 100, we're still at about 4,000 RPM, you know, which... I know from experience, like I've, I've had this truck on a 300 kilometer trip and uh, no problems whatsoever. It doesn't get hot or anything like that. But if you're looking for a highway machine, you know, this probably still isn't something that uh, that's going to check all those boxes. All right, so that wraps up our uh, quick walk around and ride along on this uh, 1998 Suzuki Jimny Wide. Now, be sure to uh, check out our website for more information. It's foursonsoffroad.com. And uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. And if you have any questions uh, or comments, definitely leave them uh, in the comment section below. And stay tuned for uh, more great videos coming up this month.